Hi all folks, so here's an update on the Galaxy um, S2 Epic Touch 4G route. Uh, so I've got a lot of things working now. Bluetooth, GPS, um, before my capacitative buttons, two, only two of these were working because the kernel was based for the original international Galaxy S2, but um, now it's uh, my home button's working, uh, my menu button's working, uh, my USB's working, the only thing that's, uh, voice is working, the only thing that's not working is 3G, 4G, and uh, Wi-Fi. Um, that's why it kind of sucks, but at least I can receive calls now. Uh, basically what I did is I, I got the, um, the, uh, what, what, is, what is that thing? The uh, Galaxy S2 original uh, kernel, no not kernel, the uh, init uh, RAM file system. And then I used uh, uh, Samsung sources and finally got it to work. It, it, no more boot loops. Um, I finally, this is my first kernel uh, that didn't end up in a boot loop. And I also fixed my voice. I don't know how the voice fix. I'm figuring that uh, when Samsung was developing the uh, kernels for the original one, they had the they had CDMA, CDMA in mind. So maybe that's why it's working. I have no clue what I'm doing right now, but. Uh, Thanks to everybody who's been trying to help me, and uh, we'll, we'll get this thing working somehow. <laughs> but uh, my phone, I got voice now. I'm so happy. Look at this, you know. I'll show you that. I've, I've got Super User now uh, working too. Um, but I just can't download anything. It kind of sucks. But uh, we'll have more updates. That was just a short update. See y'all later. Thanks.